what's up students it's your boy PGT today I'll be reviewing Dr. Mike's substrate probiotics Dr. Mike promises to increase your mushroom grow yields as well as help stop contamination so I put these products to the test and today I'll share with you what's worked what didn't and my overall thoughts on the product so starting off we have this product here called MGP plus and on the back we have some instructions on how to use it so you want to weigh out two grams of the product, mix it with some clean water, and then we'll agitate it and spray it on green spawn. All three products have the same instructions on how to make them. The difference here is the MGP Plus is a combination of the MGP Pure as well as the Just a Trike. The MGP Pure, which is the blue one here, claims here is made up of microbes and beneficial nutrients to help mycelium colonize faster, produce quicker and bigger yields. And the Just a Trike one here is meant to prevent and get rid of Trichoderma. And he tells me if you spray it on early enough on Trichoderma, it helps stop it from spreading. So I'll demonstrate to you guys how you can make this. I'm going to make some of the MGP Plus today. I'm using a shot glass here to weigh out my ingredients. So we'll put this on the scale and we'll tear it down to zero. And we'll open up our packet here. This is what you get. It's a white powder, similar to like gypsum consistency. So we'll measure out here. The instructions want you to use two grams per liter of water. I'm using a small eight ounce spray bottle, so I can scale down the ratio. You would want 0.5 grams of the product for this eight ounce spray bottle. Right, now we wait out our product. We'll go ahead and add the powder into our spray bottle here. And I'm going to use the water to get the rest of this out. Now, Dr. Mike did mention it's very important that you use clean water, distilled water, or RO water. He doesn't recommend tap water or anything that's chlorinated because the chlorine in the water will stop the microbes from doing their job effectively. So I'll pour in the rest of my distilled water into this bottle. And we'll close it up, mix it all together, and it's ready to use. I'll show you a quick example how to use it. So what you want to do is spray some of the Dr. Mike product onto your colonized grains during your process of spawning. Now you don't need a whole lot for this, uh, just a couple spritz here and there to make sure that all the grains are covered. Also you want to break up and mix your grains together too to make sure the products evenly distributed and then after this you just add in your substrate and continue your spawning process as usual. All right, now on to the results. I've been testing Dr. Mike products pretty extensively. He sent me a lot of samples to try and I made sure to use them whenever the opportunity comes up and in my experience using Dr. Mike has been very beneficial. Uh, I've noticed increased speed in colonization as well as big differences in the yields the only caveat is that it can be hit or miss, and it really depends on what genetics you're working with. Some genetics will take to it, and other genetics just doesn't do anything for them. Think of it as vitamins for your mycelium. If they're doing good, then they'll just continue to do good. However, if they're lacking, then this will provide them with the additional nutrients. When they work, the results are spectacular. But if it doesn't work, well, that's okay, because I haven't really noticed any negative downsides to using the MGP products on my stuff. So I would recommend the product and I'll continue to use them myself as well. I'm interested in seeing how the added nutrients can benefit mycelium and other medias besides substrate. I've also tested the trike product that came in here and in my case I have not been able to stop trichoderma with it. So I've been spot treating the area at least two times a day for a few days and the trike just keeps coming back. What I've do notice is that trichoderma slows down when you're trying to spot treat it. So if caught early, I think it can help mitigate damage control. But I think at this point my contamination might have been too far infected under the surface to fix. Well, perhaps Dr. Mike can improve on this formula because I have seen it work for other people in the community. So overall, I really like the MGP probiotics. I think they're definitely worth checking out. And I'll be willing to try the Trek product again if Dr. Mike can improve on his formula. So if you're interested in trying out Dr. Mike, I'll have links in the description below where you can get some. Hope you guys liked the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.